Hey everyone, my name is Taylor, and you're probably just as surprised to see my face here on Android Authority as I am. As is customary here at Android Authority, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look at who I am, how I got started, and what I like outside of technology. I'm also going to answer some common questions that I get asked all over the internet all the time. So, without any further delay, let's get to it. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much, because the first video I uploaded on the channel got almost 400 comments as of like 10 minutes ago, and they were all, or mostly, all very, very kind. There are some trolls out there. I know who you are. <laughs> but it was a very warm welcome, and it felt great to be joining such an awesome team. So I want to say I'm happy to be here, and thank you for anyone and everyone who has said the nice words in the comments section, because that's my favorite place, and my girlfriend's favorite place to troll. So I guess I'll begin with where I actually got my start here in the industry. About six years ago, I got a job working at Best Buy Mobile. I was selling phones, and I ran into a man who came in often. His name is Aaron Baker, and some of you may know him. He was working at Phone Dog at the time, and he was starting a new website for BlackBerry fans, and he asked me for my help because of my expertise in Blackberries. Seriously, I was obsessed with Blackberries. Like really really bad swore off apple and android well android wasn't really a thing then but swore off pretty much everything but blackberries and swore i would never carry anything but a blackberry yeah pretty short-sighted i guess but anyway aaron offered me a free volunteer job as the forums moderator uh, i think through the span of like three months i might have posted like three things and moderated a bunch of spam and that's pretty much it. But fast forward a little bit, he offered me a news position with the website. And fast forward like six months later, I was the managing editor of the website. Fast forward just a little bit more because this is kind of boring stuff. I decided to leave Beeberry Dog and they were going to shut up the site. So they offered me a position at Phone Dog as, I guess, just a news writer. And that kind of led me into writing editorials because I preferred giving my opinion because I would talk a lot and I like to share my opinion, even if not everyone wants to read it all the time. To date, I've probably written over 3,600 editorials, which is a crazy number. That is almost, I think I calculated a while back, maybe a million words or so. That's a lot of writing. It's, it's not Darren Murph, like Guinness World Records writing, but it's a lot of writing. And I also got into videos. I started doing some videos for Phone Dog and they were horrible. I'm so embarrassed of them. Do not go look at them. I know that's what you're gonna do now, but don't go look at them. But then at CES 2013, I ran into some guys. You might know them, Michael Fisher, Brandon Miniman, and Jaime Rivera. I became pretty close friends with these guys and I actually joined Pocket Now in February of 2013. And I started being, I guess, one of the main YouTube guys there, doing cell phone reviews and tablet reviews and all kinds of other different videos. I was also doing a lot of written work there as well. Um, but fast forward to November 2014, I decided that I was tired and I needed a break. But I'm not going to get into all of that here. If you want to listen to the whole story, you can go listen to my podcast. It's Untethered. It'll be episode 49. It's not live yet. I'm actually about to record that with Josh here in a little bit. Uh, but it will be live later this week, I believe, on Thursday. But it was actually CES 2014 where I met Darcy and Josh. And we didn't really talk that much. We met at Pepcom and kind of met and did a little meet and greet and then went on about our business. It was really busy. But at IFA 2014 in Berlin, Josh and I got to hang out a lot and we got really close after that. He's been a regular on my podcast. We talk about pretty much anything and everything. It's kind of an anything goes podcast. We come each week without a topic to talk about and ramble on for about an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. And it's really interesting because sometimes the conversation is just amazing and then other times we, we really don't know how we got to where we are or what we're talking about and it's led down some very dark paths um, some very interesting things and secrets have been dropped on the podcast so it's a it's a lot of fun and i look forward to it every single week but after i left pocket now i picked up where i left off with my own channel it's called mod and i do a bunch of diy videos and cover technology and pretty much anything that i find interesting i also post some vlogs with my girlfriend i do some videos for todoist and i write for them and i do a lot of work on the side i'm a pretty busy guy but now here i am in february 2015 and I'm with Android Authority making videos about phones again because I always knew that I was going to miss mobile technology. That was never a secret. I knew I was going to miss it and I wanted to be back eventually, but I didn't know how soon that would be. So what am I going to do here at Android Authority? The video I posted on Sunday, the Nexus 9 Tips and Tricks, is a very great representation of what I'm going to be doing here. Some tips and tricks, how-tos, and other odds and ends like that, but I'm also going to be filling the gap and covering the review devices that the other guys can't get to. Just kind of be here when they need me to do different things. So now 
now to some questions. Kevin here at Android Authority gave me a little crap over not answering his question, which he then later said I did answer his question about what audio setup I use for these videos. Currently, just out of frame is a Samson Meteor mic on a mic stand. It's nothing fancy, it's a little USB mic, and it works really, really well, as you can see, but last week I actually had a much nicer mic. I was using a Blue Spark with a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface, and for some reason it decided to stop working the very minute I decided to start making videos for Android Authority. So there's that. I'm now using my old mic to do these videos. Devices I carry, I know this is gonna come up so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. Right now I am carrying my primary device is the Moto X 2014 Pure Edition. This is on T-Mobile. It is, I love it. I just wanna say that the only two things to say about it are the battery life is eh, and the camera, sucks. Also, I'm using an iPhone 6 Plus on Verizon, 64 gigabytes, space gray, and I have this really cool fit bag for it. I, yeah, that's what it's called, fit bag. It's just a little pouch. I like it a lot. People make fun of me for my fit bag, but I like it. Also, iPad mini. Yeah, I'm a little bit of an Apple guy. Not really a fanboy. I use Apple devices. I use Android devices. So what? And of course, the Nexus 9. You saw that in the video the other day. Oh, and before I forget, I use a Moto 360. It sits on my wrist and most of the time I forget about it because I don't know. Maybe I forget and leave it in theater mode. I don't know. It's on my wrist and never buzzes. But that's pretty much the gist of my mobile devices. I also have a MacBook Pro Retina 2013, mid 2013, early 2013, I don't know. And some other knickknacks, you can see my everyday carry videos on the mod channel. Also, what is probably my most prized possession is my car. I drive a Scion FRS. It is hot lava, not orange. And I have done a tablet install on the dash and took it out and I want to finish that. Um, but other than that, I haven't done any mods, but I do want to uh, swap out the exhaust and do a forced injection, though I haven't decided between a supercharger or a turbocharger. I will probably go supercharger once the warranty runs out, of course. Other random interests, I have recently picked up skateboarding. In high school, I was the crazy guy who was jumping stair sets and grinding rails and doing crazy stuff, and then I hit my head, I almost died, I went blind for 24 hours and decided to call it quits. And recently, because my girlfriend loves me so much, she bought me another skateboard. Maybe she's trying to tell me something. I also ride a motorcycle. It barely qualifies as a motorcycle. It's 250 cc's. It's a ninja and it looks like it's straight out of the 80s and I plasti dipped it and that's pretty much all there is to know. And from time to time, mostly every night after my girlfriend goes to bed, I play video games. Most recently I've been playing NHL 2015. I have both uh, Black Flag and Unity for Assassin's Creed and then Modern Warfare, which I play online. Not really as often as I would like. I want to do Twitch streaming, but the internet here is so bad and I'm so busy that I just don't have time and it's not worth the struggle because Time Warner, man, seriously, Time Warner. And then finally, coffee. Yes, coffee. I love coffee. It's probably a very, very bad addiction and maybe borderline obsession, but I love it and it tastes great and I like to make different types and try all the different flavors and different roasts and everything. I use an AeroPress, I use the inverted method for three to three and a half minutes and that's pretty much it. Maybe a coarse grind. Oh, and then of course DIY. I like to make things, lots of things. I make things every Monday. So I guess that's pretty much it. That's about all there is to know about me. I live a pretty boring life here in my sister's basement. It's really dark and drab and we have to use a lot of lights to make you see me on the camera. But I look forward to making videos for you guys to watch and I look forward to your comments and getting to know some of you in the comment section. I'm pretty active on Google Plus. Well, not really, that's a lie. That's a total lie. I always tell myself I'm gonna be more active on Google Plus and I never am, but I will try. I will make an effort to be more active on Google Plus for you. But you can definitely find me on Twitter at Casper Tech. I am always there. It's like my second home. I'm tweeting all the time, sharing links and uh, usually clickbait stuff that you don't want to click, but I do it just to troll you. I also use Facebook, but for some reason Buffer and all the other services I use to share to Facebook decided not to let me post publicly, so you probably will never see anything if you follow me there, but do it anyway. And uh, I'm also on Instagram, also at Casper Tech. You can find my other YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mod at home, and that's actually the handle for everything. Instagram, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's all at Mod at Home. The podcast is Untethered Cast. You can find it on SoundCloud or at untetheredcast.com. That social is Untethered Cast on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and pretty much I think that's it. But that is going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm happy to be joining a team of awesome guys who do a lot of awesome video stuff, and I just, I'm just happy to be part of the team. Also, go to androidauthority.com to check out the site for your source on all things Android. And one last time, my name is Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>